to my stream today, um, doing something really different today. So yesterday we played some um, Guild Wars 2, which um, I didn't like the quality on the stream. Um, I mean, to play it was fantastic. I like the game and I'll no doubt play more of it in my own time. But I don't think I'll be playing it on stream. It just doesn't... Um, I can only get it to 480p on the upload, so the quality of every video that I put up is going to suffer um, to that quality, um, until I can get a better internet connection, which could be, who knows when, it could be a year away, it could be, it could be shorter, it could be longer, I don't know, there's no set date at this stage as to when that's going to happen, so anyway, um, I've Loaded up a game that I really enjoy playing, um, and it's not your typical game. It's not your typical. I don't think I've ever seen anyone stream this game before. It's called Suburbia. Um, it's a board game, but there's also this um, computer version of it that you can play. And it seems to work pretty well. I mean, it's not. Um, you know, it's not the same as playing the board game, but um, everything considered, it's um, more than adequate. You know, it does the job really well. So I'm going to play a bit and enjoy it because uh, I do like the game, and it's a very laid back game. It's a very um, bit of thought involved, much like Hearthstone. It's a little bit like Hearthstone, but just a different pace and a different sort of style uh, style of game I'll just do a quick tweet, tweet of going live um, with my capsule capsule cut playing So let's play, let's play this game. Um, now I don't know if, I mean, the viewers, I don't, I don't know what sort of people are going to be watching this, but if you haven't played this before, then I'll try and explain it as I go, or you can just watch, watch it play out, and then I'm pretty sure you'll f see what's going on. So basically, um, the mode I'm playing now is head-on against a comp one computer player. Um, so, I like to play like that, it's just, it's relaxing, it's easy. You start off the board with three pieces, um, and you can see here the suburbs, community park, and a heavy factory. That's always a starting board, for this game mode anyway. Um, and there's different colours of, of um, hexagons, I think they're called. And you can, you got your little, you got your income up here. So you, you scoreboard, um, this red, uh, that's, that's me, I'm the red player, and I can reduce this. So the computer player, he's got, um, this is his tally here, his score, so, and this is my score, right next to it, and it tells you here how many of everything he's built and how many of everything I've built, and the score, so you can try and... The whole idea of the game is to win the game by a score. Um, but there's, the way it's scored is very interesting because there's... Um, so it's a suburb, right? You're building a suburb, suburbia, or a city, or whatever. And you got to connect these different tiles to... to oh, jeez. Uh-oh, I think I've screwed this up now. Uh, yeah, cancel that. Oops, <laughs> I nearly screwed that up. So you can pick one, if you can afford it, and you can rotate them to build um, water, um, or I don't know what it's called. Is it called water? What do they call it? It doesn't. Have, I don't know what it's called. I don't have like, the rule books in front of me, but anyway, it's it's a water waterfront or whatever it is, right? 
and two, you get two dollars for each adjacent green, yellow, grey, or blue tile. Anyway, so starting off the game, you got to look at these things here. These are winning conditions. So these two are unique to me. So the computer will have two of them that are unique to him, and I don't know what they are. They're kept secret from each other. So if you're playing this with someone, because I've the way I came across this game by playing with friends. Um, uh, friends of the family who introduced us to this game and I, I really liked it and that's why I'm playing it here quite happily All right, I'm trying to do it. I don't know how how far I should go into like introducing the game and the rules and stuff But I kind of just want to get into it and play it But anyway, I'll go through this because I need to I need to know I'll go through things as I go through them as I need to like I'll explain them as I go as I experience them. <laughs> so uh, the square, um, these little squares here, is this score here, up the top right hand corner here is the um, population and then the circle is your income per turn. So, um, so it's saying here at the end of the game I'll get plus 10 population if I've got the highest amount of um, population uh, accumulation or whatever you call it, I don't know what the names of these things are. All the all the names aren't on here on the board, so I can't. It's difficult to. Here we go. There's a show here. Public goals, private goals, basic tiles. Okay, so it's called reputation. There you go. So the population is this bar here in the middle, and so the more reputation you have the more your population increases because everybody wants to go to your town or your suburb because it's got good reputation so everybody population increases um, income allows you to buy the tiles to help with increasing reputation and income so um, the game you got to go through these piles up here you got to through, go through this first pile the second pile and the third pile and then once you've run out that's the end of the game so you got to make sure that at that point you're ahead um, and then there's basic tiles up here, which are cheaper. They're, they're always available. There's four of them of each at the start of the game. And there's these investment markers. And what they do is they multiply a tile by two. So whatever its benefits and, um, you know, its positives and negatives, it gets multiplied by two. So what I'm looking at now is the goals. So you've got two goals. Oh, they're public goals. Forgive me. These two goals are public. And then you've got one that's private. So nobody knows what you're trying to achieve. So that's how it works. And then there's the stats, like I already said. Right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so I need to, if I want to get an extra 10 population at the end of the game, um, I've got to have the highest reputation. <clears throat> and if I've got the fewest green tiles out of me and the computer, me and my opponent, I should say, although I don't play a computer, so I can say that. Um, I'll get a bonus of 20 population. So that could affect my end of game score. That could win me the game, essentially. 20, 20 population is a lot. So the end of the, the purpose of the game is to get the bigger, the best suburb with the best population. All right, let's look at my secret tile. Okay, so the fewest water tiles, these things, if I've got the fewest water tiles, I will get 20 population as well. So these are very worthwhile considering. Because it could be the deciding factor at the end of the game. Alright, so let's start the game. Um, what am I going to get here? I've got 15 uh, income. $15 in my bank here. Round 1. I've got no income. And I'm, I'm earning 1 reputation uh, per, at the end of every turn. So, right now, I'd like to get some... Um, either something that gives me plus 1 circle here. Like this thing here gives me plus one income or plus two that one's even better but I've got to consider the effects next to the tile so this green tile here if I build something next to this green tile for example if I build this freeway over here oh shit ah. Ah. oh god I hate it when this happens I don't even know how to fix that right now it's just zoomed in so much oh here we go I just double clicked it. Okay. 
Uh, <clears throat> I haven't played this for a while either, so I'm a bit rusty. So you've got to consider that that will give me minus one uh, reputation per turn, so it will bring me down to zero if I build this next to a green tile. But um, on the other side of it, if I build it next to a, a blue tile, uh, which I don't have at the moment, but let's say that there was a blue tile in this place here, and I built it there, it would actually give me plus one uh, income per turn at the end of the turn. So these are all things to consider. This is how you got to kind of add it up, you know, like break it down mathematically in your head, you know, <laughs> try and work out ways to build up an income and a reputation so that you can grow your suburb and win the game. Uh, having said that, I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Um, it's, I'm just at a loss as to what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to put in a plus one over here and it will also give me plus one reputation uh, for being adjacent to this guy here. So I'll put this guy over here, a convenience store next to my community park and it's gonna it tells you what the effects are which is really nifty I, I really like this it actually calculates like normally when you play the board game you gotta sit there and you gotta manually add it all up unless you've got a calculator or something but you just do it on your head and, or you're out loud so everybody knows everybody has to make sure you're not cheating <laughs> but in this game it just does it all for you which is really nice so I'm gonna be down five dollars I'll be down to ten dollars um, so I can still afford any of these things that are coming up. Um, oh, actually, I should explain something else while we're here. So here, these tiles, this one here has got no effects to it because it's got plus zero. So it's just a base price of $6. But as you go up the board here, this one's got plus 10, right? Now, plus 10 on 9 is 19. So this board here, if I wanted to buy this, um, it probably won't even allow me to buy it yet. It doesn't actually allow me to buy it because it's too expensive right now. It's $19, so I can't afford that right now. So I've got to consider that as well as I play the game. I've got to consider that I have enough money to actually buy the tiles I need to potentially win the game. And that's the other thing. If you've got more money than your opponent, you can get a, a tile that comes out. Because what will happen is when I, once I use this tile, for example, um, these will shift over and a new tile will be drawn from this top, um, it's it's a pile that's up here, it's 8 tiles that are, that's up here in this pile, there's 15 in the middle one and 20 in this one, so there's how many tiles there are up there, so then a new one will be drawn, and that could be a really good card that you want, so if you can beat your opponent to it and get it, you'll reap the benefits of it, but you got to pay a price for it, and that's what this premium is up here, you pay plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, and then it gets cheaper and cheaper as it gets um, towards the end of the line and if you use one of these top ones um, the, they throw out uh, the nearest one I think it's the nearest one it gets thrown out, gets discarded so they can draw another one because it still counts as a turn anyways let's play the game let's just play this alright so I was going to do that I'll do it oh, 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 oh. alright here we go we're going to drag it over and we're going to place it down and we're happy with that Right, that's my turn. So I'm going to be earning one dollar every turn now. There's a new card in play, and now Ted, the computer, is going to have his turn. Let's see what he buys. All right, he bought a landfill, so he's down to nine dollars. Um, but he's earning. He's yep. So it's my turn. Now um, he's earning two per turn to income, but he's not earning any reputation. I'm earning two reputation, and I'm only earning one uh, income. So I hope, you know, I hope I'm explaining it, um, you know, doing a good enough job explaining it so that it makes sense to anyone, any viewers watching this. Uh, I hope it's a, an interesting thing for you guys uh, watching. Uh, I think I think it's a great game. And oh, I can't move this Twitter icon. This uh, Twitter icon is annoying me. I can't get it centered where I want it. <laughs> oh, well, I'll leave it alone now. I'm so easily distracted, I'm like a little kitten. All right, so I'm thinking we need income because 
a regular income. We've really got a regular reputation build up now. And what happens is, okay, I've got to explain something.